You're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. The time has finally come. My family's favorite holiday is here, Halloween. It's the most romantic time of the year. The flowers are dying, the weather is turning, and people are allowed to dress like their true selves. This video, I present you my daughter, Wednesday Adams. She's all grown up, and I promised her teacher, college first, before she seeks out the dark forces and join their hellish crusade. <clears throat> um, so yes, I will be making Wednesday Adams in reference to my cosplay of her. There are some things that I wanted to include in that cosplay, but I couldn't, that I will be including in this one. I really wanted to emphasize some Morticia elements in her, since she's all grown up, so the extreme corseted look seemed fitting. The reference for this cosplay, of course, was Cora Corset, so yeah, the photoshopping magic was among us. This year is no different, as we have more Halloween dolls to feast our eyes on. So make sure to check out Valkyrie's World, The Dolly Geek, The Doll Fairy, Mr. Super Customs, Moonlight Jewels, Heroes Workshop, Jackie O, Halley Crafts, Etalan, Enchanterium, Delightful, and Anastasia Custom. Their ooky spooky dolls will be listed in the description down below. Let's take a short intermission to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. As a mom, I have to always reinvent the wheel, and HelloFresh helps me keep our meals exciting. <laughs> no, but really, HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. They provide seasonal recipes, including fresh and pre-measured ingredients, straight to your door. They really make eating healthy better, easier, and less stressful. HelloFresh has really opened up my taste palette, and I've been loving every meal that I prepare because of them. Since we are now in sweater weather time, the fall flavors are among us. Their ever-growing rotation of weekly recipes features soups, chilies, and in-season fall produce to take advantage of the season's fresh flavors. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from to help you break out of your recipe ruts. Like I said, they have introduced me to so much variety of foods, especially vegetables. And if you want leftovers to take to work or school for lunch, you can increase your HelloFresh box servings. You'll also be wasting less food with HelloFresh, for their meals come with pre-portioned ingredients with less prep work. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code HEXTON14 to get 14 free meals including free shipping. So for our doll, I will be using this model muse body. As you can see, she has the articulated arms, which I really, really love, and this beautiful face, which I may or may not be using, <laughs> because it's too friendly. I want Wednesday to look really stoic and, you know, like Wednesday. Um, but I really love this model muse body, as you can see over here. She is model-esque, and I think it will be the perfect adult Wednesday vibes, you know? So let's go ahead and remove her head and prepare everything else. Now of course we have to work on the body modification. And for this one I was pretty corseted, but I'm also pretty photoshopped um, for my cosplay of Wednesday. So I'm gonna try and make her look as much as how I looked in that photo. Photoshop it all. So over here I'm just sawing her in half. We're gonna give her the corseted look. And for that, I am just going to go ahead and take some wires over here, and this will act as her spine, um, just to kind of stabilize her. And I'm going to stuff this with cotton balls or any puffs inside just to give it some mass. And um, yeah. I'm using hot glue to kind of stabilize it a little bit more so that it's easier to work with and the wire is not wobbly. And that's pretty much it. Honestly though, this is so so cool looking. I mean, you know, so far. Um, I can see the vision. So now I'm gonna take my epoxy sculpt. This is a two-part epoxy clay and it actually dries on its own when it is mixed. Um, correctly. So I really love this stuff because it is industrial clay and it's actually used for like, you know, repairs and stuff. And now I'm just stuffing her stomach over here. Like I said, we are going for the overly corseted look. Very, very Cora corset. So I really want that dramatic look for her. I want it to be really graphic 
and almost animated and pretty unrealistic. To really emphasize her waist, I'm also adding some on her hips and also her thighs. You just kind of want to blend everything in and make it seamless. As you can see over here, I also sanded everything. So right now it's looking really, really dramatic, um, her waist. However, after we put on the clothes and everything like that, she'll pretty much look somewhat um, not as dramatic. <laughs> And now I'm taking my pan pastel over here. This is Artist's Pastel. You can get them individually from like Blix. And this one is in the Raw Umber Tint, which is one of my favorites. This is what I used for Morticia Adams as well. So it's just the perfect kind of like gray. And oddly enough, it's kind of similar to the Epoxy Sculpt color. Just a little lighter and maybe less cool tone. But I did this, I believe, five layers in to really get her into that gray, undead look. And then for her face, I ordered this Barbie over here. She is a petite, made-to-move Barbie. And I believe this is, I mean, this is a new doll line. It's like the city looks or something like that. And her face, though. Can we talk about her face? She has such a beautiful face. I love her lips, her nose. Her high cheekbones are amazing, and I love the fact that she is not smiling, which is perfect for Wednesday. Like I said, I really don't like dolls that are smiling, um, gleefully smiling. I like them to be very stoic and very, very aloof. So this head, I mean, compared to the Aphrodite head, can you, I mean, can you see? It's kind of night and day, you know what I mean, in terms of expression. So I definitely prefer the Asian head a lot more than the Aphrodite head. Let's go ahead and prepare her and unfortunately I have to remove this beautiful hair. And this one is kind of like in the um, undercut style so her sides are flocked with like yarn and stuff so for that you're, ha you're gonna have to use acetone. But let me take off the face first again with acetone or you can use nail polish remover if it has acetone in it and it just makes it a little bit easier. It's, it, can, it can be very messy, so scraping may be needed, but it comes off pretty well. I just pop that in into her body and we're gonna color match it again with the same exact pen pastel. Again, with this one, you have to spray it in between layers with Mr. Super Clear. And now we're ready to give her some face. Over here, I'm just taking a darker gray um, for her base so that it's easier to remove when mistakes are made and I'm just kind of mapping out the makeup look that I did on myself at that time which I think was just a really strong cut crease and a really really strong brows. I wouldn't say this is like you know one-to-one -one ratio on how I did my makeup. I did modify this a little bit more because it's on a doll and I can perfect it as much as possible. But I did have black lips on this one too, which I wanted to keep for Wednesday. I thought it was such a drastic look for her. And the contouring that I did over here, it was actually kind of gray tones. So I'm just doing the same exact thing and I'm contouring with um, a bunch of grays with um, chalk pastels and stuff like that. To really create a dynamic face shape for, with her, I'm using this white pastel over here to kind of just give her some highlights around her face, which is her cheeks, her nose, her forehead, and her chin. And of course, we want a strong contour for her nose as well, because that's what I had. I gave Morticia Adams red eyes, so I'm like, you know what, let's just make it a family trait to kind of have semi-red eyes. Why not? We are in Halloween season. Um, Wednesday may not be a true vampire, but she can pretend. <laughs> I really have been obsessing over this specific brows, like it's so arch up, you know, like it's very angry looking brows and I am so in love with it. I don't know why, I do it on myself and I have been doing it on my dolls. <laughs> Over here I'm just creating some shadows for the cut crease. I do want this to look really really smoky and just the effect of it to be very very supple. 
um, and smoky and natural. <laughs> Here I am. Um, but no, I really do want it to be smoked out and I want to create kind of like that fog effect. And of course, Wednesday deserves a really, really sharp cat eyeliner, as all of my dolls do. So I'm just working on that beautiful shave right there. Wow. <laughs> I do want to give her kind of like some under eye bags, you know, just a little bit. I feel like the Adams family just don't really sleep um, in general, especially during at night because they're mostly awake. So why not give her some um, under eye bags? They are designer, of course. And giving her black lips was so satisfying for some reason. I just love how graphic it looks. Oh my god, this frame right here, it's looking very black and white, especially because of my background. Like, it looks like I have a grayscale filter on, don't you think? I'm just putting some red onto the tear ducts just to give her some life. And over here, I am using acrylic paint in black um, just to really finesse her lipstick. I want it to be really, really opaque and really, really solid. And I do want to give her some hint of life, so I will just give her one dot of catch lights in each eye. And of course, highlighter is a must. Highlighter is required. Um, and these are the highlighters I'll be using. These are resin metallic pigments, and I actually use them for Morticia Adams as well. These are the same exact ones. I have one in white, and I have one in silver. So I like mixing them up to create a more dynamic kind of look. And I don't know, I just love them on like dolls. And because it was me in a Wednesday Addams cosplay, I'm putting my um, beauty mark that I like to do in drag. And now it's time for the lashes, of course. I'm using these human fake individual lashes that is so, so hard to put on. Lord, give me strength. Very that. While we wait for the lashes to dry, and we're gonna trim it, I'm gonna work on her wig. And now I have these yarn wefts that I have prepared. They are in black, and also this wig cap that I painted black as well. So I just want to start from the bottom. Wednesday has two braids on the side, so I want to make this as sleek looking and clean as possible. Um, and yeah, I just want those braids to look really, really nice, neat, petite, and uh, yeah. I am taking inspiration from the animated Wednesday from, I believe, last year? Not the new one right now. Um, so those are the braids that I am emulating. But yeah, her hairstyle is pretty simple. It's just two braids going down on the side, and you can put any accessory that you guys want. Skulls, crosses, or whatever. And then let me just do a quick haul for you guys from Deluxe Designs. Over here she have provided me with some stockings in black. Um, this one I actually made. These are the gloves that I will be giving Wednesday. I had gloves like these, so those ones I made. This is the dress that Deluxe Designs made. As you can see, I asked for a more dramatic collar. Um, this is pretty much what I was wearing. It was just a really, really skin tight um, dress, kind of like vintage inspired. And I just, you know, upgraded some things here and there. So I wanted to keep the design that I was wearing pretty um, minimal. But I also wanted to upgrade some things for my Wednesday doll, because why not? So over here, I'm just taking this thicker pleather fabric. As you can see, um, it is not real leather, but it is really, really thick. And it is great for harness making and stuff like that. So I will be using this as a base. Um, I do want it to look patent leather or like PVC. So over here, I am taking this vinyl um, sticker. I got them from Michaels actually. And you can just stick them to whatever fabric. And it actually works so well. Um, you don't need heat for this one. You don't need to iron it or anything, which is really great. So let's just peel off a portion over there and stick it to the pleather fabric. As you can see, look at that. Very satisfying, honestly. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some strips off to make the harness. I want the skirt to look like a hobble skirt, um, which is very, very vintage, very, very you know what. So yeah, that's kind of like the goal and the look that I was going for.
And here I have all of the strips. I think I did a little too much, but whatever. Um, it's great. And as you can see, I am so ready to do this. I love making harnesses for dolls for some reason. They're just kind of fun. They are a lot of work though. So over here, I just have a double-sided tape in the back just to act as a temporary fix. And I'm just going to go ahead and place the, the belts, the harness, the leather straps. And over here, um, I did extend it towards her knee because I really want that vintage look. Um, a lot of vintage um, skirts or mini skirts, they go past the knee. So yeah, it becomes a little bit more contemporary if it's above the knee. And I just used super glue to fasten everything together. As you can see, look at that. And I'm just trimming off the excess. Over here, I want to work on her belt. I'm taking the same exact pleather fabric over here and this metallic um, vinyl. Now this one, it does require heat. However, after some tries, they actually melt. Um, the heat melted the leather. So I'm like, okay, we can't do that. So, hello, goofy faces. So over here, I'm just gonna use some super glue and I'm just directly gluing it onto this um, pleather fabric. And it actually works out pretty well. And I specifically did this because I really wanted the mirror look. I don't want to just paint the belt silver because that wouldn't really give off a metallic mirrored look. I want it to look like a mirror because that is the belt that I have. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint her hands black. I was wearing a glove, like an opera length glove all the way. So let us, let's do that for her. And for her shoes, I was just wearing some pleaser pumps. They were fetish pumps. Um, but for this one, I will be using this Model Muse pumps, of course. You guys know the drill. And I will be painting it black. And of course, red bottoms is a must. I feel like if the Adams family do consider more color, it would be red. <laughs> And also, I want to make the mini Wednesday Adams doll that she has. So over here, I'm just taking this Barbie, um, this really, really mini Barbie that it's actually poseable and stuff. And I got this from eBay, I believe. And look at her. She's so cute. She can literally, like, she's articulated. Her arms can move. Her legs can move. She even has glasses that she came with. Um, so yeah, this one is a fun plaything for props. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut off her head because, you know, off with her head, most Wednesday Addams doll um, are actually headless. And I'm just emulating the same exact look that I'm giving this doll. So a hobble skirt, a really, really tight dress, um, you know, long sleeves and all of that. So I'm just trying to redo it in this scale, which was actually really, really challenging. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it was so cute. So when I was trying to do the harness onto this clay, she was actually looking like a grenade. <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't she look like a grenade? And painting everything black, oh my god, that was the most satisfying thing ever. And because she's wearing tights, um, I went for a gray scale. I mean, her skin is gray anyway, but you know, we do want to emulate the tights and the pantyhose look as well. So I'm just taking this tiny brush over here and making small strokes of lines as neat as possible. This one was really hard to kind of make it neat, but it worked out in the end. And of course, her doll also deserves a red bottoms. To really emphasize the harness look, I am painting them with some glossy gloss over here just to really make them stand out. What I love about this look is the mixture of different types of leather or PVC or whatever. I really love the matte black dress wrapped under that PVC or patent leather cage. And then I love the glossy gloves. I love the strong white collar and I love the mirrored belt. And now I also wanted to include her pet, Wednesday's pet Aristotle, which didn't really make an appearance in the live actions, I don't think. But I have two 
options over here that I got from Amazon. This one is not as great looking. Um, so I'm gonna opt for this one. I like how this is more dynamic. The tentacles are posed a little bit more and obviously there's more details. Like the suction cups in the back are like heavily, heavily sculpted. So I'm really in love with this one. So we will be making Aristotle from this octopus. Most of the versions of him, it is like, it's kind of like reddish orange or copper orange. So I'm just going with that vision. Of course, this is still a Adams Family pet, so I do want to add some blacks here and there just to make it more noirish. You know, I don't want it to be too vibrant and make it look out of place uh, when Wednesday is holding him. So yeah, I'm adding some blacks here and there, kind of like contouring um, his body and stuff. So yeah. And I'm also uh, giving him a hint of copper, metallic copper, um, all over his body just to give that shine, you know? He is an underwater creature. And of course, he needs some accessories, and I think Wednesday would agree on that, that Aristotle would need a choker or a choker band or something, a spiked collar or something. So over here, I'm just using the same exact um, harness fabric, actually, and I'm just adding some spikes in there. Unfortunately, I still need to order more silver studs, more st silver spikes, so I'm just painting it over it these golds. And of course, chains and whips excite me. And so here are some chains um, that I'm going to be attaching to his collar or his armband. I don't even know. His tentacle collar. And I'm just going to super glue that together. And there you have it. They can now walk onto the park, go to college together or something like that. And for Wednesday's earrings, I have a bunch of these studs that I got from like the beauty supply store. They're like a dollar each. And I think I'm going to use the glossy, the tiniest glossy stud over here for her earring. And now it's time to assemble Wednesday. This is my favorite part. I was on a live stream when this was going on. So if you guys were there during that live stream, you know the struggles that was happening during the assembly of this doll. Um, so yeah, there was just, it was just a lot. It was a lot, but it turned out really, really well. I think in the end. I did make the gloves a little too tight, and I think that's kind of like part of the reason why I struggled into <laughs> the assembly of this. And of course, when you're putting on shoes on tights, it's, it's a little tight, so I had to heat up her legs to kind of soften the rubber. And voila! We are done with Wednesday Adams. Thank you.